I'm with Jason Masters, and I'm not sure where I am right now, but I see a lot of things that have to do with automobiles. Tell me where we are today at Alamo Colleges. Is this part of St. Phillips College, too? This is part of St. Phillips College. We're the Southwest Campus, so we're uh, a satellite uh, facility. Uh, this is the auto collision and refinishing lab. We pretty much do everything here uh, that it has, you know, that is involved in the auto collision industry. Anything from tearing down a vehicle, replacing parts, uh, removing dents, painting, detailing, as you see what's going on over there. Uh, so there's pretty much A to Z. The stuff that you see behind us is going to be advanced stuff that we do. So we go all the way up to what an advanced tech at a, at a body shop will be doing with frame damage and stuff like that. Okay, so everything from frame damage to, to replacing a bumper. Everything. Everything with glass. And you, can do, and you can do paint? We do paint. And you have state-of-the-art new booths? Brand new booths. Okay, and so then tell me how do you get the vehicles to work on and what type of vehicles do you get to be able to run and train through this facility? Uh, we own, the college owns a couple of vehicles. Um, they're, they're part of our program. Uh, on a case-by-case, -case, limited basis, we will take cars from the community or from students, faculty, and staff. Uh, but they have to meet the needs of our students because that's what's important here is training them on the things that they're going to encounter when they get out there in the career field. Tell me what the uh, prospects are for the students that you bring through this facility. The prospects out here for employment are astronomical, really. Um, our students are going to work before they even graduate. So usually after two semesters, they're being placed in body shops to finish out their internship and the rest of the program. That's interesting, but, but I would think you'd want a student to kind of go pretty much all the way through the program so they make sure that they really learn A to Z soup to nuts. And they, they do, and the body shops that we send them to work with us, but the way that we have designed our program, uh, the, the majority of the jobs are gonna be in the body uh, technician side as, as opposed to the painting side. The painting stuff we put in the last semester. And so after two semesters, you're completed with your body training. And you can actually, you have enough to go into a body shop of work. And then working with the body shops, um, you know, they make sure that the, the students stay in the program and see it through before they really give them full-time employment. I said, this looks like an incredible opportunity for someone to get into the industry, quite frankly. But what are the qualifications to get in? Uh, none. As long as they can get into the college, they can get into this program. Okay. There's no prerequisites required. Uh, they can apply to the college. The easiest way is to start online. Uh, go through the St. Phillips College website, um, and it's all stepped out for them, for new students. Uh, once you're uh, accepted to the college, you can start signing up for classes. And wow. we take them from, right from the beginning. What is a bumper? How does it come off? Yeah, all the way through. That's incredible. So that's the beauty of what St. Phillips College has to offer. It's not only here, but you know, everything from health and wellness to culinary school to aviation and now body and paint and everything else that y'all do here. I'm really, I'm really pleased to meet you and thank you so much for your time. Thank Jason. you, sir. Thanks for being here in San Antonio to, to help these students, to help this community. Well, thanks for uh, showing us off. At Mission Park and Mission Park Cares, we'd like to bring you more programming each and every week. Yes, just subscribe here or catch us every Sunday morning on Fox 29. And remember, at Mission Park, it's our mission to care.